Hello guys, Zuljan here. Welcome to Roofing 101. Typically I do a Minecraft Indoors episode every week, but I had a request to do a roofing tutorial a little while back. So I figured that I would give you guys some fundamental concepts about roof design uh, and how it pertains to Minecraft. To start off, you'll see that I have a bunch of different roofs prepared, but before we go over each individual one, let's talk a little bit about slope. Slope is really, really difficult to manipulate in Minecraft. One of the things you'll notice is when you get a building layout, as in the shape, the general shape and outline of the building as it refers to walls, when you go to design a roof, you always have to count out and worry about pitch. So there's a couple ways to determine pitch. You can either elongate it, like if you have a really wide roof, you're going to want to do something that doesn't necessarily affect the shape of the build or the, the, the type of build that you want to do. For instance, let's say you want to do a barn. Everybody knows that a barn roof looks different than a house roof. If you want to do a commercial building, everybody knows that a commercial building roof typically looks different than a house roof or a born roof. So there's a couple different ways to look at it. You just have to determine how high you want the peak of the roof to go in order to give you adequate coverage on top of the actual walls. So there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, for width, you can stretch out the tile of the actual building pane. So let's say you have a build that is oh, I don't know, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 24 wide, and you want to do a gable style roof, which we'll go over in a minute. Um, you don't want, if you use a, a stair block or a half block for each individual uh, tile and you are going up one half block at a time, you'll end up having a roof that's very, very tall for 24 wide, and that may not necessarily be what you want to do. So what you typically have to do is stretch out each tile. So right here in this example, I have three tiles stretched out. So I went one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and now I have a total of a two block height over half of it. This would be the peak of it. So you can go on the other side and stretch this out just a little bit more, and once you got to the middle of it, you just start sloping back down in the same measure and you would have your desired height. If that is not high enough for you, you can shorten up the tile by two, as I did in this example. Or if you want the really tall roof, you can go to the one again. And this is just using half slabs. You can do the same principle in stairs. Now here, for the shorter style homes, it's really hard to manipulate how high you want your roof if you want a really tall roof without knowing how to slope correctly. So there's a couple different things you can do here. One, you can use the half style blocks like I did here and just go up a half tile at a time. If you want to give the same type of feel but a little bit different depth, you can do it with three half slabs at a time. Or you can use hold blocks, kind of like this, and go up three just like this. So this build is only three, four, five, six, seven wide. So typically you can have a 12 by 12 house and on either side have this design and really, really have a tall, sharp looking roof. You can also manipulate uh, the, the corners using stairs, kind of like this, to emulate just a little bit more slope if you like. Just like that. So what you'll want to do as far as roofs go, there's a couple different things to consider. When you're building a round style roof, you can either go out sloped or you can start on the middle depending on how you want your spire to look. Uh, what I did here is I basically started off with the exact design of the, the walls and I just spread out one tile from there and I just kept on inside until I had the desired half slap peel. You basically just want to start off by marking your entire outside with slabs and then going up one just like this and then up another just like that <laughs> I have a bat in there from spawn it's funny so the next style you can do go with for a small house is you can go just half slabs now for the square type roofs there's a bunch of different styles that go from building this particular style I believe is called a hip roof 
basically there's no specific pitch on either side. It's kind of all pitched uh, accordingly and it slopes up every side until you meet in the very middle. You can go up any type of number of slabs that you want or you can go up just one at a time kind of like I did here or even mix it up with stairs just to meet in the middle. This is the same style hip group except it's a little bit sharper because it doesn't have the outlying edges. Here this is what's known as a dormer roof. Now a dormer roof basically is a regular gabled style roof except that it has um, a proportion that juts out of it to form up corners and to have windows. You see this on a lot of two-story homes and it's mostly what you want to do when you want to incorporate windows into the second story while actually having the roof go over a section of it. So this is what's known as a hip roof and it's basically it's it's basically a gable style roof and you just get this corner out. The 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 method, I guess you could say, to use this is just start off exactly where you want your windows placed and build up and then just kind of join it with the stairs surrounding it and fit your window in however you like. Um, this is a kind of a gable style roof using um, one of the concepts that I showed you in sloping there. Let me set the time. So this is a, a, a thatch, <laughs> I guess you'd call it because I used hay bales just to show you that it's possible to use kind of any block. But the hay bales work well because of the lines and it, it works well in the vanilla textures too. I'm using uh, Swordtex fanver, but you can use it in anything. But basically a gable style roof is the same type of slope on either side with the sides not exposed. This is different from the regular um, hip roof because it doesn't have a slope on this side. So if I wanted um, a gable style roof you just use slopes on two sides. If you want a hip roof you have slopes on four sides. Here we have kind of the same concept in a hip roof except that I did some some stairs instead of just the regular half slabs mostly with um, with stairs and some half slabs just to fit on the corners where it was necessary. This is a smaller style gable roof and there's a couple design concepts you can use here. You can either take uh, the stairs and go underneath here just to make it a little slope on the outside and finish up the top with a stair or another half slab. I personally like the stairs better because it doesn't do that. Um, but you can do it either way that you like or you can fill in the entire width of it with the same material as the roof and give it that appearance. Naturally these houses are relatively short just to conserve on build time when I was trying to make some examples so um, do as you will as you see fit whatever fits your builds the best. Um, here is something a little different. Now this is this doesn't necessarily have a roof type that I know of uh, it's more or less a gable style roof with an extension. So typically you'll see some houses that have the same slope going up until there's an extension onto it and then a portion of it goes down. This is a really really difficult concept to do but with stairs or half slabs sometimes it's possible. You basically want to mimic the same slope as you have on one side all the way out through the extension and then on the next side you really just have to play it by ear and getting this insert right is pretty hard. Sometimes you can use the same material, sometimes you can join it up with stairs. Um, I made an attempt here to kind of make it fit and with this style it's pretty hard so what I ended up doing is just going with the upside down stairs. Although you can do half slabs if you like too. Whatever whatever fits your build style is, is fine and whatever looks good you know. So you can do a number of different things here with the actual build in order to incorporate what you like the best. Um, and here we have a shed type roof. Now basically this is a simple concept where all you do is take um, a normal house and extend the one side of it up in order to uh, reflect just a single slope. So a half slope that just juts out to a, a sharp drop off and that's it. Um, you can come off to it a little bit and do 
some more sloping on this side let's say let's go ahead and take this down just to show you and instead of doing the upside down stairs here I would do the regular style stairs here and I would again come out like this now this particular style of roof is known as I believe it's a I believe they call this a Gambriel, I want to say. Um, Gambriels, no, it's not a Gambriel. It's a, uh, it's a salt box. That's what it is. A salt box is you're going to have slopes on both sides, kind of like you will a gable roof, except one side is going to be a shorter slope or a different pitch than the other. So there's a number of different things you could do here with that design. And this is just your classic gable and I just wanted to show you the difference of what you could do with it. If you want to come out on the ends right here with the gable roof and make it look good, uh, a lot of the times you'll just want it to conform evenly. So um, by putting stairs upside down like I did here or half slabs upside down, it kind of gives you a different look. Um, you can always come out and make it solid kind of like I did. Uh, the design back there or you can leave it flat um, this typically isn't usually as flattering unless you have a portion of the house that's the same uh, material but you can easily do that by just taking the material that your roof is if you don't want the, um, the drop off and creating just solid textures just like that that way it gives you the illusion that it's um, that it's still roof and that's where the house cuts off even though when you walk in you'll see that it's actually taller on the inside so that's another different kind of concept so that's basically roofs guys there's a number of different things you can do possibilities for roofs but you always just want to concentrate on how wide the actual build is or how long the actual build is and what the different type of roof that you want is so you can use pretty much any type of material if it's full blocks as long as you keep this style of sloping in mind and you can use stairs or half slabs to anything that's available in Minecraft to have any other style of roof so I hope this helps you guys and um, thank you all for watching as always this is Uljin signing off have a good one